Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss some extensions that you can use to get the best out of ChatGPT. So the first extension that we are going to talk is ChatGPT Chrome extension. So this is the simplest of all the extension which will help you to open the ChatGPT with the help of a shortcut. So let us see how we can do this. So open up Google and write the ChatGPT Chrome extension. Open the website and you can install this. So I have already installed it. So here you will get the option to install this. So once you install this, go to the extensions, click on manage extensions, click on this options here, three lines, main menu and go to keyboard shortcuts. So this is the extension here, chat GPT Chrome extension and now here you need to type in the shortcut with which you want to open this particular extension. So you can click here on the edit button, type in a shortcut. So I have pressed control G. Okay, so this is my shortcut to open this extension. So now what happens is generally you will open up a tab and then type chat.openai.com and then the website will open in your browser, right? So now let me close this. So now let us suppose that I want to open the chat.openai.com website. So I'll simply need to press control G and it opens the website, right? So this is the only use for this particular extension. The next extension is chat GPT for Google. So just like you install the previous one in the same way you can install this extension. So once you install this extension, you click on this extension options and here you will see this chat GPT for Google. Click on these three dots and options. So there are three ways you can trigger this always question mark manually. So now let me show you how to use this extension and what all these three will do. So first I will show you how this question mark option works. So what we need to do is here on Google let's suppose you want to search for anything so let's search for what is chat gpt and now i need to use the if i don't use question mark so by default this is the way you search right so google will show you all the relevant results okay so now here on the right hand side you see this option right so if you have not installed this extension this will not be there now what's happening is what we selected was question mark. So chat GPT is going to give you the answer for this particular search. What is chat GPT by default, but it will trigger it only once you end your query with a question mark. So this is what is written here. Trigger chat GPT by appending a question mark after your query. So what I need to do is type in my query question mark and then press enter. And now you see here waiting for chat GPT response. So apart from getting all these websites here on the left hand side, on the right hand side here you see the answer from chat GPT, right? So this is the advantage. So let's change this. And if I say how chat GPT works, question mark. So there, these are the all possible options right normal search but here you get a reply or response from chat gpt also for this particular query coming back so this first option is always always means whether you type in the question mark or not you will always get the reply through chat gpt again same search but this time without the question mark also it is going to work right automatically it has started giving you the response the third one is manually so here even if you type in the question mark or without the question mark it's not going to work until and unless you click on this ask chat gpt for this query you have to click here then only it is going to fetch you the answer right you can see here the next extension is Luna. 
chat GPT for Chrome. Now what Luna does is, so let us suppose we go back on this particular web page. Okay, so let's click here on this particular link. Right, so it opens up about how ChatGPT works. So it gives you all the description. Now I want to ask ChatGPT about this particular data, right? So what I have to do is I have to select this, copy this, open ChatGPT or open AI, paste, and then ask whatever I want. Let's suppose I want it to. Uh, summarize this all right so it starts to summarize that particular paragraph here now the advantage with Luna is what I will do here I have selected this I right click and look here this option send to open AI so it sends that particular text there and opens the website on its own now I can write summarize So this is the default answer that was applying. No, what I want is summarize and it starts to summarize the particular paragraph. So with Luna, what you can do is select the text and send it directly to the OpenAI website. So it saves a little bit of time. Okay, the next extension is summarize. So what summarize does is it will summarize the entire page using chat GPT there on the web page itself so the first thing is you need to install it as you have already done with the other extensions after that open the extensions tab from here and summarize so let me enable this by default it will be enabled all right so what you need to do is go to extensions keyboard shortcuts look for summarize right so I have set the shortcut to alt s all right so what we will do here is open up let's suppose a website dixtutor.com so this is one of the websites that i maintain go to operating systems okay and i open this link right so there is some content on this page i want to get a summary so what i will do send it to OpenAI using either Luna or I can copy paste but if I press Alt S so you can see here this summarize extension has opened and it is waiting for the chat GPT response to summarize this content on this particular page so you can see here so the entire web page is getting summarized Alright, so you can see that how summarize will help you to summarize the page content. The final and my favorite extension is Merlin. So what Merlin will do is it will also summarize but it also helps you to summarize whatever portion you want and even interact with OpenAI on the go. So once again, so once again go to the same page. Now I don't want it to summarize the entire page. I wanted to summarize only this thing. So what we have done earlier is with Luna we sent this to the OpenAI website which opened in a different tab. But with Merlin we can summarize it here itself. So I have already installed the Merlin extension and let me see if it is enabled. Okay so I need to go to extensions, Merlin yes enable it. Okay. And what is the shortcut from Merlin? It is Control M. So let us go back to the web page. So what I'm going to do here is select this particular paragraph. So you can see once I select on the bottom right, it says it shows you the icon for Merlin. So you can just click here. And you see here, this is already selected, right? And passed to the Merlin extension. Now you can tell it whatever you want to do not only summarize if I want let's suppose summarize so it starts to summarize okay what if I simply say don't summarize but 
explain in more detail right so you can see it explains you in more detail so these were the five extensions that are going to help you enhance your chat gpt experience do subscribe if you love them see you in the next video